Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Let's Talk Politics. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys breaking news that Kamala Harris, the current vice president, has now hit the lowest of pool ratings since the 70s. And if you t actually take a look who was the vice president in the 70s, it was Spiro Agnew. Sorry if I sp um, pronounced his name wrong, I'm pretty sure it is Spiro Agnew. But he has had the lowest of pool rating since the 70s and now Kamala Harris now has tied him. So Kamal Harris now is uh, underwater, and uh, it alarms Democrats. And I actually found this in an article, and Kamal Harris has hit the lowest approval rating since the 70s on August 1st at uh, around 6 p.m. PST. Uh, that's uh, when uh, when she hit the lowest, I'm pretty sure. So it was August 1st at, at night, somewhere around evening. So this article says it all. So the stuff highlighted in yellow are actually pretty important. And Kamala Harris has now become became the most unpopular U.S. president, uh, U.S. vice president. Sorry, six months into an administration, so not in total, just the uh, the most unpopular is six months into her administration or Biden's administration um, since the uh, 1970s, according to polls. Which is I'm reading these uh, highlighted yellow, so I'm going to be reading the highlighted uh, stuff highlighted in yellow for you guys because they're really important and. Um, the vice president's now fl floundering polls, poll numbers, which show she is now underwater, meaning more Americans disapprove than approve of, of her job of performance, and will attempt to raise her profile by sending her on foreign trips in the coming months. So this right here, the highlighted right here, actually says something because she says, because it says, will attempt to raise her profile by sending her on foreign trips in the coming months. So basically. Uh, she has announced that since her approval ratings, so you guys need to hear this. Kamala Harris now has announced that she, since her approval ratings has dropped to the lowest in an administration in six months since the 1970s, to raise that up, to raise her approval rating up, she is going to be going on foreign trips. So basically meeting with other foreign leaders to make her approval rating go back up. So so for now on, in the next couple of months, we're going to be seeing Kamala Harris visiting other leaders countries so state uh so be prepared for that uh so she's going to try to make her approval rating go back up now two percent of uh two recent polls both showed 46 percent of americans approved of mrs harris with 47 percent and 48 percent disapproving which is which is not good so she is uh, more disapproved than approved which is horrible and in kamal harris uh sh this is not what she wants to be seeing in her first six months. So by contrast, Joe Biden's approval rating in an average of polls is 51.3% and disapproved is 44.9%, which is actually not that bad. So Joe Biden's approval rating is actually pretty good where he, sh he should want to be, according to polls, not according to my prediction, but according to polls. And his disapproval rating is not so well. So Joe Biden should get his uh, disapproval rating down and his approval rating uh, is uh, is good for him so all joe biden needs to do is get his disapproval rating down um and is his also his approval rating also has gosh you gov polled found 41 percent of voters age 18 through 29 had an unfavorable view of mrs harris with only 36 percent viewing her favorably which is horrible amongst uh 18 to 29 year olds which is you know the younger adults basically uh uh, Mrs. Harris is also struggling with Hispanic voters, which is the issue because she needs to be doing good with them, but not so much. So possibly due to her role leading the U.S. border policy, um, obviously, because she told them don't she's she's uh, going against her own words uh, before she stepped into office with Joe Biden. She she claimed that she wanted, uh, you know, illegals to come feel free, you know, but then she she says she she goes against her words and says, them don't come which is she keeps changing her policies with the border which makes hispanics not like her um from my uh perspective so so that's pretty that's pretty much it with this article and so yeah kamal harris is now like i said mentioned a lot of times kamal harris since august 1st of uh last evening yesterday's evening she has now hit the low support rating in six months of an administration like i said not total but just for six months since the 70s, which was Spiro Agnew. And Spiro Agnew, if you guys didn't know, uh, he had, he, he got, he got, um, 
he had like I believe criminal uh records or not criminal records some sorry not like that uh I think criminal charges or something like that I don't know but he was a very horrible VP so um yeah he yeah so if you take a look at oops sorry if you take a look at Kamal Harris's um hold up if you take a look at Kamal Harris's uh um, favorability polls you can t you can see they're not good because uh 46 uh favorable to 48 unfavorable which is uh she's more unfavorable than favorable by two which is horrible for a vp in just six months if she's hor this horrible in six months imagine the rest of her four years with joe biden so you you, you can tell the future for kamal harris is not going to do good. And you can tell in this article, it says future president. And then it says Kamal Harris is doing horrible amongst polls. So if you think Kamal Harris will be a future president, try to take that back. Many people agree, even Democrats agree, she will not become president. It's just too, no, she won't. Anyone can agree from both uh, sides of the party. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to get the word out that, uh, because uh, I think I'm the first YouTuber to actually political YouTuber, analyst, what do you, whatever you want to call me, to actually announce that Kamal Harris um, has became the, the least unpopular, I mean, sorry, not the least, the most unpopular president since the 70s in, her, in an administration six months in, besides um, this article I found, The Telegraph. So shout out to The Telegraph uh, for, you know, giving quick news, because I didn't see any news give this out besides The Telegraph, very quick. So shout out to them. And before I end out this video, please let me know down in the comment section, what what's the future for Kamala Harris? Let me know. And um, what do you have to say about these uh, about these polls saying she's the most unpopular president since the 70s in administration six months in, which is horrible. And let me know in 2024 if Biden does run again. Do you think he will keep Kamala Harris as his VP? I don't know. Let me know. I think it's going to be a tough decision because, um, you know, I, I think he, he has well respect for Kamal Harris, um, but it didn't show that much in the debate. But besides all the debate, he has much respect for Kamal Harris. She has much respect for Biden. Uh, just ignore that. Dem